trust you well, that you're having a good day, a good year, a good month, a good everything. So I am sending the love and blessings of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, so today I wanted to share with us um, a word that he he has, has had in my spirit for a while. And I just wanted to share it with you. So it is about the milk of God. The milk of God is the beginning of salvation. So this is where we are excited. We receive the word. And those that believe, believe. Because remember, that's the beginning. You believe. You confess unto your heart. You believe. So we, the Lord calls that uh, the, the milk stage of, of salvation when you've received uh, the, the, the beginning of the word. And that is good. That is good. That is an amazing place. We all started milk. All of us. I started at milk. Everyone, no matter how big or small they are in the Lord, we all started with milk. We had, uh, we were on diapers, we were pooping ourselves, he was washing us clean. We all started there. But what is important, what he wanted me to share and what he illustrated to me is that we can't stay on milk forever. We actually have to grow. We have to mature. We have to move to solid food where we start eating the meat of, of, of the word. We start eating the, the, the bread of the word. So the word being Jesus Christ, because remember, he is the word, right? The word that was with us, the word that was at the beginning, the word that is to come, that he is the word. So he is, Jesus is the word. Okay, look at John 1. Uh, John 1 verse 2, 1 to 5, and then also uh, Genesis, the book of Genesis, where it says, in the beginning was the word, that one. So Jesus is the word. He is God. He is the word. So when we are talking about the word, as much as we are talking about scripture, the scripture, scripture is inspired by the Holy Spirit. So when we're moving deep into that, we are moving into the word, we're moving into Christ, we're moving into the flow of God, we're moving into his presence. Okay, so uh, that's not necessarily what I wanted to say. It's Holy Spirit, please rein me in. Um, so anyway, so now he's speaking about, he was saying that we can't stay in the milk side. So how he illustrated to me, it's it's in Ezekiel uh, 47. So let me read Ezekiel 47. Okay, from Ezekiel 47, 3, right, to, to 8. And when the man went up to the east with a line in his hand, he measured 1,000 cubics. And he brought me through the waters. The waters came up to my ankles. And again, he measured 1,000, brought me to the waters. The waters came up to my knees. Again, and again, he measured 1,000 and brought me as the water came up to my waist. Again, he measured 1,000 and, and, and it was a river that I could not cross for the water was too deep. Uh, water in which one could swim, a river that could not be crossed. Okay. And then the Lord says, uh, say, he said to me, son of man, have you seen this? Then he brought me to return to the bank of the river, and the bank of the river was the trees. And the trees are people like us. The Lord describes us in Revelation, uh, trees of Revelation 22, verse 1, rev uh, trees of righteousness. He describes us as that. So you now are a tree of righteousness, and the Lord is measuring in your life. As you grow, there's a measurement. And then the Lord says, okay, I'm weaning you now off milk. I'm going to start giving you bread and I'm going to start giving you meat. Just like with the child, children, um, milk stops being nourishment after a while. That It doesn't feed the stomach like that. They start growing. So after a year, maybe a year and a bit, some children, even at six months, stop drinking milk. It's, it's not good. And the moms have to find ways to either mash potatoes or do something that, uh, that will fill the stomach but not also damage the child. So what we are, what's happening with us in Christianity, we're staying in the milk side. And, and that's wonderful. The milk side of salvation is amazing. It is amazing. But just like with the ankle deep, imagine um, you buy the seed, right? And then you're just ankle deep and you're watching everybody going knee deep. They're going waist deep. People are sitting in the sea. They're starting the sea and then 
you start ankle deep right in the sea but you're watching others that are knee deep and waist deep and like some of them are just swimming they're surfing and they're having a good time and you just stuck on the on the on the shallow end what happens to you you get bored right you you get bored in fact i think some of us would get bored to the point that you actually even just leave the beach is not fun maybe because that's the whole point of being at the sea by the waters is to enjoy that whole experience but you're not part of that experience so milk is like that milk is like the shallow end it's the beginning and if you stay there you will get bored and other things will snatch up your attention they will snatch up your commitment so if you are not going at least they say even a little bit further than just ankle you go a little bit knee deep right um just going knee deep it's like okay there's a bit of a hunger there okay what is there what's more what's going on you know and that's the lord like you, you can't stay in the one end the dangers also of staying on milk is that that's where the wolves snatch us that's the that's the end because it's so shallow that the you know can you imagine a wolf doesn't necessarily want to go into the water and swim in it so it's easier for you to be snatched on the shallow end then all i have to do is maybe just jump bite them like and remove them out but the wolf won't be able to swim all the way into the depths of the sea there to try and just get their prey so that's what is happening to us like i think a lot of people are even noticing like oh you know um, I, there was really good, amazing Christian people that were doing this and now they're not doing that anymore. But, and that's the amazing thing. You, know, you receive the word. It's exactly what the Lord speaks about with the different hearts in the, in the, in the four gospels. He speaks of the four different hearts, right? He speaks of the heart in the pathway, the heart that, um, has God's thorns and prayers he takes he talks about the rocky heart and then he talks about the fertile heart so you see that as the depths as you go in so if it's in the pathway and when the seed lands satan just snatches it up um and they say it's lord says they rejoice people rejoice when they have uh, have gotten salvation they rejoice when they get this part of life but it 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 can't stay at milk you have to grow into maturity and as I was reading this wonderful scripture that best describes it is here in Hebrews 5 13 for everyone who partakes only of milk is not accustomed to the word of righteousness for he is an infant that means you must grow right from being an infant you must be now a big person Hebrews 5 14 it says but solid food belongs to those who are of full age or mature that is those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil and that's that's how we end up growing because you need to learn to discern not everything is is christian not everything there's not all doors lead to christ not all doors lead to god we end up mixing things now stuff like you know we've got angel numbers what is that that's not christianity that's not of christ that is totally new age total and and christians are busy practicing some of these things that means you you want to grow you're thirsty for the lord but you're afraid of going in deeper because you're going to have to shed some things off you literally the lord says that you, you're going to have to die and pick up the cross deny yourself and pick up the cross so ask the lord to take you even if me to measure just a thousand cubics <laughs> to say lord i'm just just measure a little bit more so that i can grow from where i was to something new even if it's a little just to move from where i was to be something else to, to, to experience you more even if i have to shed if i have to lose some things from my life may the lord bless you may he be with you in the name of jesus amen